Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a few hairstyles you can wear to bed. So some night protective hairstyles that are very minimal, easy, quick to do. So if you guys are interested in these, make sure you guys stay tuned and let's get into this video. Yeah, so these hairstyles will work with people who have like afro hair textures similar to mine. So I'm just assuming that you guys have hair texture similar to mine because I'm just going to do these hairstyles. Okay, so the first thing you want to go on is with your white tooth comb to detangle your hair. And I always talk about importance of using white tooth combs and then you're going to go in with your hair oil that is perfect for your hair type okay for your porosity level and you're just going to make sure that your hair is fully moisturized so i'm ensuring that my hair is moisturized from top to bottom from root to tip just so my hair is getting the full moisture it needs while sleeping at night and that's the best time for you guys to put moisture in your hair because while you're just sleeping your hair is retaining all the moisture that it can without you playing around in your hair so the first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to part the hair and as you see I already parted the middle part of my hair and I'm going to go in and part the other sections of my hair. Now, I'm not really too caring about how perfect the parts are because again, this is a nighttime routine and I'm going to explain later on in the video why you shouldn't care too much how perfect your hair looks when it comes to night. So I'm just detangling the section that I have again with my white tooth comb, get it at the beauty supply store. You're going to go in and start plaiting your hair or braiding whatever you call it based on the country that you live in and i'm just going in with a simple three strand plait <laughs> is that what americans call it anyways so that's what i'm going in with doing guys i'm going to be popping in and out of voice notes in this video because the wind was giving me a hard time that day it's like they were saying i don't want you to film this video but so I had to mute a lot of it. And as you see, I'm doing the braids or the plaits really big and thick and I could care less because again, you guys think about it realistically. You're going to bed at night, you're tired, you're exhausted and you just wanna take do your skincare routine and take care of your hair as quick as you can and then just hop into bed. And that's why I'm trying to be as realistic in this video and not show you guys like perfect hairstyles when literally you were in bed for a few hours and you're waking up and doing your hairstyle. So that's the first one here. And depending on how thick your, your hair is, you would just literally on, only go in with a few braids in your hair. But for some reason, my hair is so thick. I don't know what happened this day. So I have to be going in with smaller sections in my hair, but it's okay. Usually I would do this so quick at night. I, this hairstyle probably would take me like 10 minutes, the maximum to do. And usually I do my hair care routine, like my night hair routine, right before I go in the shower. Okay, because I because when I'm combing out my hair, detangling hair is going all over my body. So I don't really like doing it before I go into the shower. So I'm on the third braid here which is in my hair and as you guys can tell like it's so ugly and it's so big but i don't care but let me know down below if you would do this hairstyle i'd like to see if any of you guys would do this hairstyle or you already have done this hairstyle or you continue to do it because you don't care <laughs> but yeah so i'm just plotting as you can see like the braids are really spaced out they're not really tightly bunched the reason why i do like this also is because like in the morning you just want to quickly like run your hands through them and be able to take them out so as you can see the hair is done on one side so we're going to go over to the next side and i'm doing this as quick as possible doing your natural hair actually takes a long time and it takes a lot of time so when you guys see people's hair like this just understand there was a struggle behind it <laughs> oh my gosh if you understand give this video a thumbs up but yeah so basically it's all rep repetition it's the same thing over and over and over and over again and you get better doing this the more practice that you have and it becomes easier to be honest again you can guys can go in with how much as i said earlier how much that you want to go in and that's really it i'm telling you guys once you guys do this you're going to see a change in your growth in your moisture in your retention but yeah all right so this is the hairstyle here you guys are probably like girl your braids are jacked up okay like the reason why it is because i don't care when it comes to sleeping at night i could care less how my plaits look in my head because it's night it's going to be covered with either a bonnet or a satin scarf just to let you guys know all you want to know is that you have an easy hairstyle that keeps your hair protective and your hair is moisturized that's the best thing that you guys are going to want to for your hair especially if you want to keep moisture in and promote hair growth okay you don't have to do your braids like this much you can literally just do four plaits the reason why i did it is because for some reason i 
just have some, the most thickest hair today and I'm or I'm just noticing how thick my hair is. So all I'm gonna do is just go in with this and cover it. So this is why I tell you guys I don't care. Don't waste your time making it look pretty because you're going to take it out and it's going to be covered all night. So just think about it. Let me know if you agree down below in the comments. Your focus should be more on like getting your hair done as fast as possible and going straight to bed. Well, that's my mentality because I don't want to spend so much time doing my hair when I already did it in the morning. So I just want to make sure my hair is in a protective style. Now, a second hairstyle. Sorry, guys, the chickens and the hens. The second hairstyle is basically the same thing, but you can just do it in twists. I'm not really going to do my whole entire hair to show you guys, but I'm just going to show you guys one of these. And I'm twisting it the wrong way, but you guys can just do like really big twists in your hair, especially if you're like really lazy and you do not. People are like, yo, look at these twists. I don't care. I'm just showing you guys an idea. Like we don't care, right? So just a twist. And you obviously probably going to want to make the sections a little bit smaller because this is really big and ugly. Back to square one. Okay, so the next hairstyle is for like the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate lazy. Like you're just so tired and you wanna to go to bed. So I'm gonna show you guys what you can do. Okay, so remember I was telling you guys that when it comes to your night routine, the main things that you wanna to look for towards is moisture protection. So this hairstyle is all about protection, especially protecting the ends of your hair. So what you can go in and do is put your hair in a ponytail. And again, this is for when you're super exhausted. You're like, listen, I don't have time plaiting and braiding my hair. So you want to put your hair in the ponytail and then I just have some breakage at the front. So if you don't have any breakage, you can just disregard this step. But if you have a breakage, especially at the front of your hair, what you can do is you can twist the front or you can braid the front if you want. It's up to you. And you, what you can do next is you can go in with a bobby pin. Disregard that big bobby pin. That's all I had. And you can clip them into your hair. Me doing this to my breakage is actually protecting the ends of the breakage so it can actually make my hair grow now what i'm going to do now with the ends of the ponytail is you can either choose to twist the ends or plait the ends because you want to ensure that the ends of your hair are protected because when they're not protected they're more prone to break off and that's all you want to do for this hairstyle so i'm just twisting both sides because my hair is really thick so i can't really twist one side and that's it i wish and then i'm going to go ahead and just wrap it again you want to protect the ends of your hair because they're more fragile and they're much more easier to break so that's it my old woman hairstyle, the easiest hairstyle if you're exhausted. Not the prettiest, but who cares? We're going to cover it. <laughs> I look like an old lady. Okay, what you're going to go in with now is just your headscarf just to tie it. This hairstyle is so ugly, but again, it's only for night. So as you can see, I, the break off, the break offs that I have here, I just did this quick just to secure the ends of them so it can help with my hair actually growing back. You always want to protect the ends of your hair and make sure you moisturize it as well. Okay, we're back to square one again. We're back to detangling. Now, this hairstyle is so easy and I feel like a lot of people gravitate to this one. So we're gonna do that. You just wanna part your hair down the middle like this, right in the middle, and then you're gonna either twist or cane roll this side going all the way back and the same for the next side. Again, really simple and easy. And I do these really big and ugly because I'm like, yo, I wanna go to sleep. Let me hurry up and put my hair in a protective style. And again, make sure for every hairstyle you oiled your hair from root to ends or you can just focus mainly on the ends in the scalp okay like I do them really big because I just want to go to sleep and I'm being as realistic with you guys ah. comment down below if any of you guys have a hair texture similar to mine or comment down below your hair texture if you're liking this video so far give it a thumbs up All right, so we have it here. Okay, so this is it. Four hairstyles that you guys can choose from to wear at nighttime. Prior to going to bed, they're quick, easy, and simple, even though these look jacked up on me. I just want to give you guys an idea. I want to give you an idea of things that you can do prior to going to bed. You can disregard my jacked up cane rolls and plaits and twists because honestly, as I said earlier, all you want to do is go in with this after and you should be good. I don't know if I'm being too honest <laughs> in this video, but obviously you can do a better job it's just night so again all you just want to need all you just going to need is hair oil for your hair type just remember that don't go in with this thick castor oil if you don't have thick hair like me yeah so this is really it again you just want to go in with either your bonnet your satin scarf just to protect it the whole key about your night routine for your hair is you want to protect it keep it moisturized and have it in a protective hairstyle 
all that's gonna make your hair grow and stay healthy so I'm going to link on the screen other videos that you can watch natural hair videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that's it for today's video I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video au revoir